Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy holidays coming at you with 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. Eight box, pick your team number four. Full case right here. And a big thanks to everybody right here on a Thursday, the 22nd, 2022. We filled this up straight up, no filler. I appreciate that. Mark grabbing last spot mojo, getting the Yankees. Hopefully everyone's being a... Uh, Stay warm, stay safe out there. I know there's a lot of blizzardy conditions happening for a good chunk of the country. So hey, hang, hang in there, stay safe. boxes back over here all right so the jumbos of course three autos per box we got Elijah Green Jackson Holiday on the box just off to the side here I've got my phone on a phone stand watching a little uh, watching a little Thursday night flow who does everyone have I, I wasn't even really able to talk about this I know it's a baseball break but We'll have plenty of talk, time to talk about baseball, but who has a uh, who, who does everyone have in this game? The Jaguars were the slight road dog, even though they're a cat team. They're they were plus what two two and a half. They're in New York. Jets are up three nothing. Game just started. Only a, yeah, not too not too deep into the uh, first quarter. Eleven thirty seven left in the first. Quarter. I'm personally on, for what it's worth, on the Jaguars on the money line. Plus 115 or something like that. I, I was thinking about taking them, taking the points, but then I was just like, well, what's the point? At that point, I'm two such a weird number. I was like, at that point, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm saying they're going to win, so I might as well just take the money line. Sorry, Adam Kupperman, if you're listening. And other Jets fans. The Jaguars have been playing some hot football lately. And Trevor Lawrence looking like looking like the QB that we thought and hoped he could be. So that's, that's good for the hobby. First box, and obviously we'll do an autograph recap at the end, and all cards ship. Three autos a box. Main guys we're looking for: Jackson Holiday, Tamar Johnson, and Elijah Green. I'm, those are the three main dudes. Got Owen Murphy. Those ones are not numbered. Kevin Alcantara, and then our autograph. Drew Gilbert, 234 out of 499, refractor autograph for the Astros. Donald with the first auto of the break. So Darren. Darren's thinking Zach Wilson is who he thought he was, and we let him off the hook. Kevin Alcantara, Aqua Lava, uh, is to 199. That will be for the Cubbies. That'll be for Matthew.
I want to say that these two teams are, are teams that are trending in opposite directions. I want to say that the Jets had had a had had been having a good season, and then I think they've gone like they've lost like I think they've gone like two and five or something like that in the last handful of games, whereas the Jaguars have gone five and two or something like that. Classic, classic uh, coach quote. R.I.P. Denny Green. The Bears are who we thought they were. I might let them off the hook. There's Averson Arteaga to 250. Uh, purple Chrome for the Giants. That'll be for Ross. Tamar Johnson, Pirates, Jackson Holiday, Holiday. Jackson, all these Jackson holidays are going to go to Jack. Got the Orioles straight up. Chad to Benny with the Pirates. Get all these Tamar Johnsons. Like, have we stumbled across a Tamar Johnson autograph? I don't. I don't think so. Wow, Ben! Shots fired. Do the Giants cards go to the Mets? Got him. There's Benny Montgomery, gold paper, 35 out of 50. Oh, what, a, what a crazy turn of events there. There's Reggie Crawford, Giants. Tamar is a redemption. Okay, so we'll look out for those. Here's Ross with the Giants. I mean, I don't know if this will ever come out, but... Yeah, not 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 at least officially, but but I wonder if uh, if it'll ever come out what the medical issue was that spooked the Giants, or if the Giants just kind of were dragging their feet and were just trying to be like, hey, can we do more tests? Can we do this? Can we do that? Maybe that was part of it. Don't know. Dragging their feet a little bit, and Scott Boris got impatient. Sub Rex. Well, looks like Jaguar settling for a field goal. Oh, you think that's what it was? The medical issue was just the Giants getting cold feet? We've got Everson Arteaga again, 181 out of 199. Paper this time. Nick Plant. what's going on, Nick? How are you? Redemption. Oh, zero degrees. Yeah, hang in there. I know a lot of a lot of people in the in, in a lot of the country, top half of the country, dealing with wild blizzard conditions. We got a class of 2022 autograph gold refractor parallel. Those are, are usually around out of 50. Of? D, Detroit? There's only one D city, right? Detroit Tigers, Jace Young. Josh's brother, that's gonna go to Alan B. And the Tigers, there you go, Alan.
pretty nice. All right, next draft box. Well, let's get into it. This is the big baseball news of the day. Trevor Bauer's suspension reduced to 194 games. Hey, what's going on, Matt? No, that is not an option. We'll be shipping that to you sealed. So then you can sit there and think about whether you want to sell it or open it yourself. But congrats. So Trevor Bauer suspension reduced to 194 games. Bauer reinstated effective immediately. Major League Baseball announced Thursday night, tonight, that the 324 game suspension imposed on Bauer has been reduced to 194 games on appeal. He has already served the entirety of the ban. Therefore, he will be reinstated effective immediately. It's a whole statement, a whole league statement, blah, 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 blah. This is all according to MLBTradeRumors.com. This was following the uh, the civil action suit against Trevor ba Bauer assaulting her during uh, during sex and Major League Baseball placed him on administrative leave, blah, blah, blah. Two other women coming forth, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. No criminal charges, but it could be a violation of that joint domestic violence, sexual assault, and child abuse policy that was appealed. Just kind of skimming through here. Uh, it's just like a hit parade box, a regular hit parade box, Matt. Just one, one card per box. And it's a Sapphire edition. It's six hundred dollars, so could be some something really nice in there. Autograph possibilities, or just a, just a regular, nice card, or something like that. Could be load numbered. I would search, uh, I would go to our video page or a uh, YouTube page and search Hit Parade Sapphire. And that might give you, a, give you an idea of the, of the Hit Parade level there. So now Bauer has been on the restricted list. Yeah, congrats, man. That's re it's really awesome. I know that sold out last night, but I was in the middle of all this draft. I appreciate your patience waiting until today. Bauer's been on the restricted list and hasn't counted against the Dodger 40-man roster since first landing on administrative leave. Bill Shaken of the LA Times tweets the team will have until January 6th to reinstate him or to the roster or release him. Bob Nightingale is saying the Dodgers are expected to release Bauer, though the team has yet to comment on the matter. Uh, even if the Dodgers cut Bauer loose, it's a meaningful development for the organization from a financial perspective. Los Angeles will owe him his 2023 salary, whether they keep him on the roster or not. They won't have to pay him for the first 50 games of the season, but they'll be on the hook for the remainder of the $32 million salary, about $22 million. Perhaps more meaningfully, that money now goes back on the Dodgers' luxury tax ledger for the 2023 campaign. And they're just a million dollars below the tax threshold. Reporting in recent weeks had suggested the Dodgers were reluctant to spend aggressively this winter, in part due to his desire to maintain flexibility under the collective bargaining agreement threshold in... Um, or the CET tax ledger, blah, blah, blah. With that coming into play, they'll have virtually no financial breathing room without shedding salary unless they're willing to pay the luxury tax for the third straight season. All right, jeez. Interesting. So we'll see what happens there. We were talking a little bit earlier. I wonder what the, uh, wonder what, what the front office is talking about. I mean, I'm sure they're talking to players. I'm sure they're talking to Trevor. Trevor Bauer, you know, we don't know how the locker room feels about him. Is he going to continue to be a distraction or I, mean, I don't know what the case is going to be. I mean, holiday. From a baseball perspective, I mean, if you, if you release him, you're still going to have to pay him anyway. Then you can't really make any moves because, you know, they're just not that far under the luxury tax. You know, you might try to want to find a way to...
to get something out of him. There's Gabriel Hughes. Either I mean, can they trade him? This article doesn't doesn't state where, whether he can be traded or not. I guess we'll find out by January sixth. It's Gabriel Hughes, Colorado Rockies, EA. It's in the game. And Jared McKenzie, Aqua Lava for Billy and the Nats, thirty-eight out of one ninety-nine. That orange is just, that's just the color of the team trim. Yeah, so I wonder. I mean, if the Dodgers reinstate him to the roster, then I suppose trades are a possibility. So maybe they'll maybe they'll find a trade partner. They'll reinstate him, find a trade partner. Does anyone trade for Trevor Bauer? I would imagine someone's going to want to. Some team's got to think about taking a flyer on him. We got Ignacio Alvarez, Braves. I think the Dodgers could. I don't know if that's a thing in Major League Baseball. The Dodgers can benefit from the try to trade, couldn't trade mojo. Ignacio Alvarez for the Braves. Timothy Carr with the Bravos. And we got a Jackson Holiday Chrome card. Holiday. Gives the Dodgers front office and the team something to think about over the holidays. There we go. There's Jackson Job. Paper to four ninety nine. Speaking of the holidays, anyone have anything fun going on in the holidays? I feel like top half of the country, right, snowed in. So I don't know. Maybe maybe have your holiday plans been ruined by the the blizzard, ladies and gentlemen? Has that has that affected anybody? Anyone stuck in an airport listening to Jaspies right now? I don't know. A lot of flights got canceled. There's Marco Luciano. One food. Everyone, stay warm. Stay safe. For the Giants, it's for Ross. Another holiday, speaking of the holidays, for, uh, for Baltimore. It's all for Jack. Uh, oh, you know what? Since Mike Towers here, Mike, I know you were asking about holiday schedule. This should be Crooks the Third. If you go to the break schedule, that Nightbot just dropped. If you click that link and you scroll down a little bit, um, we've got a full break schedule for you and everybody. There's Kevin Alcantara to 50 and Jared McKenzie to 499. And if you go to our Twitter, ladies and gentlemen, at Jaspies Rakes, we'll, we also reposted the, the break hours. Um, when we're breaking, when we're not breaking over the holidays. And um, we also posted, if you're local, we got store hours posted there too.
Uh, why don't we take a look at that right now? All right, so today is Thursday, December 22nd, and we're in the middle of Jumbo Picker Team 4, Bone Draft Baseball. So Jaspi's retail store hours, Jaspi's retail store hours, is Jaspi staff staying local or traveling on the holidays? Hey, are you trying to case the joint, Mike Tower? No, I think most of, most, I think most everybody is staying local, actually. I don't know if anybody's really doing it. Jason and Vanessa are out of town, but they'll be back next week. I was talking to her, I think everyone just, just uh, most people are local. I think just hanging around, hanging around the Hermosa Beach South Bay area. I don't think, I'm, I'm gonna be out of town for a while. After tonight, I won't be back until January 8th. Or back to work until January, I'll be back in town before then. But I think I'll be back in front of the camera until the 8th, Sunday the 8th. Um, so today's Thursday the 22nd, tomorrow, Friday the 23rd, normal retail store hours, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Saturday, Christmas Eve, we are closed. Christmas Day, Sunday, uh, we're usually closed on Sunday, so the only difference is Saturday, Christmas Eve are closed. Monday the 26th. Boxing Day, for some of you. Uh, closed. And then from the 27th through the 30th, Tuesday through Friday, normal hours, normal retail store hours. 11 to 6, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 11 to 8. Or maybe we won't do that after the holidays. I don't know. At least six, but normal hours. Saturday, abbreviated day, New Year's Eve, the 31st, Saturday the 31st, retail store open 11 to 4 p.m. We're closing a couple hours early, get our, allow, our, uh, allow our team to join their family and friends for the New Year's Eve holiday. Then the first, Sunday the first, we're closed anyway, but Happy New Year. So that's the uh, that's the in store. That's the in store hour. I'll go through the breaking hours after this in the next box. Stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll do a separate video for that too. Jamar Johnson going to the Pirates. That'll be for Chad to Benny. We got Victor Acosta, 220 out of 499. That'll be for the Reds. That's going to go to Eric. We got Elijah Green back here. For the Nats, that'll be for Billy. And we got Mason Barnett and Jack Brannigan, 37 out of 99. Green Chrome Auto for the Buckos. Chad. And there's Mason Barnett, 25 out of 50 for the Royals. Mark the set. That's true, yeah. We have been working on our axe throwing, so, so uh, beware. A lot of our team are live nearby, so we drive by the place often. We got Jace Young, twenty-four out of ninety-nine green paper 
for Allen and the Tigers. We've got Jonathan Cannon and Ivan Melendez. To 90, 40 out of 99. I'm a man. I'm 40. Goes to the Porterhouse Stake in the Snakes. By the way, these uh, sky blue parallels, not numbered, so that's why I'm breezing by these. All card ship, of course. Those speckles also not numbered. Jackson Holiday Chrome. And we got Josh Kasevich, Toronto Blue Jays. That'll be for Adam and the Bluebirds. Pirates, Tamar Johnson, Chrome, Donald. We pulled our third auto yet. <laughs> that might have been our third auto. Oh, no, there's our third auto. It's Chandler Simpson. 59 out of 75. Tampa Bay Rays. Patrick with Tampa Bay. Here you go, second round pick. That was the guy Ryan Harold was looking for. He snoozed on this one. Sorry, Ryan. But congrats to uh, congrats to Patrick. All right, so we discussed our uh, store hours for the holidays. Now, more importantly for you watching on YouTube, What are our uh, breaking hours going to be? I think this is for both YouTube and Instagram. So uh, tomorrow, Friday the 23rd, today's the 22nd. Friday the 23rd, uh, Friday and Saturday are my usual weekends, weekend days, but Chris Jaspi will be filling in for me tomorrow, Friday the 23rd on the YouTube. And he's going to start off the day with eminent soccer. And Ryan, if you were out here, we might, we might have recruited you. Saturday, though, no show. Christmas Eve, uh, we're off. No Instagram, no YouTube. 25th Christmas, no Instagram, no YouTube. 26th 
Boxing Day. No Instagram, no YouTube. Store is closed too. So 24, 25, 26 will be dark. Tuesday the 27th through uh, Saturday the 31st, we're, uh, we're back in action. Although the 31st, because it's New Year's Eve, um, just like the store hours, we may have abbreviated breaking hours on New Year's Eve, but we'll still be on for a little bit. Then Sunday will be dark, New Year's Day, recovering, nursing hangovers. And then Monday, January 2nd, back to our normal schedule. So only uh, four days over the next couple of weeks, so through the Christmas and New Year holiday, we're only, we're only dark four days. Uh, this weekend, Saturday the 24th, Sunday the 25th, Monday the 26th, and then New Year's Day. And I'll be starting my, uh, there's the odd, I'll be starting my winter break today and I'll be back in the new year on the, uh, on Sunday the 8th, at least back in camera Sunday the 8th. There's Cade, 305 out of 499, that's going to go to Adam and the Blue Jays. Drew Thorpe, 163 out of 199, Yankees, that's for Mark. And for the Dodgers, Purple Paper, 167 at 250, Dalton Rushing. That'll be for Peter from the Dodgers. Ah, Mike Tower is, uh, is asking the group, what's the best sports-related Christmas present you've ever received? Sports-related Christmas present. Yeah, I think it's tickets for me too. I, uh, my sister got, uh, last year, last Christmas, last Christmas, last year my sister got uh, Raiders Broncos tickets for us at Allegiant in Las Vegas. And we, we, saw, we saw a Raiders win. It's for Chad and the Pirates. And that was my, that was my, well, that was my first NFL game. It's our, me and my sister's first NFL game. That we've ever been to. Remember, LA was without the NFL for a long time. And, um, yeah, and my first time, obviously, at that stadium. I, I had not been there for any other event. Um, yeah, so that, that, in recent memory, that must have been one of my best sports related. What about you, Mike? Ryan got a uh, got Subway World Series tickets carried over to the fall and Christmas, so the next Christmas was bare. <laughs> What's up, Justin? A putter, nice. You got a putter for Christmas when you were eight or nine. And I, w I wish my parents put a putter in my hands at eight or nine. I might be on the PGA Tour right now. Mark saying, uh, Mark got a Vince Young action figure when he was a rookie for the Titans. Not worth much, but meant the world to you. Yeah, that's, doesn't have to be much. Just the sentimental value alone could be far more than the monetary value. It's Christmas, you know. Ah, tickets to the Lions-Cowboys game with the fam. It's pretty nice, Mike. Holiday. And Elijah Green. Jason Dominguez. Do you still have it, Mark?
You still have it. Nice. Of course. It says, every time I say, say what? Think of the wedding singer? Was it, are you talking about Holiday? By Madonna? Is that in the wedding singer? Holiday. I, I, forget. I haven't watched that in a minute or two. There's Chase Meadroth, 21 out of 150, blue wave autograph for Boston, Mark, for the Red Sox. Hey, he's from Torrance. Who is it? Chase Meadroth? Meadroth? You know? He's a, he ended up being a fourth round pick. For Mark, favorite gift, Larry Bird Christmas ornament in the front, of the front part of the tree every year. Nice. Alexis Hernandez to 150 for the Cubs. Nice little color match. Matthew. Now, for those of you who do the Christmas tree thing, um, are we going? Are we going uh, artificial tree, or are we doing a fresh cut tree every year? When I was a kid, my parents did a, uh, we did fresh cut trees for a couple of years or so that, that I remember. And then, uh, and then after, uh, after the mess, there's Judd Fabian for the Orioles, Jack Vane with the O's. Never, never again, we went artificial tree decades after that. Ryan Harold has a, has a Hanukkah bush but it's artificial. You're allergic to the standard tree. Nice Judd Fabian, by the way, who's a second round pick. Nice. TJ is going with a Festivus pole. Nice. All right, we are halfway through this break. Got about another 30, 40 minutes to go. Good luck, everybody. That's right, happy Festivus Eve, everybody. Uh, Mark saying best present has to be the Death Star playset full of action figures circa 80. Do you still have that? Or has that been played with? It's, you can't retire on that? Top, top five Star Wars toys that you can retire on. If you have number four in your closet, you can retire today.
All right, good luck. Another box. You would be retired. They're, they're with your original Carolina Air Jordans in a dump somewhere. Oh, no. Um, does anyone have any, uh, anyone have any fun holiday traditions? Any fun that, fun that you and your family or friends do every year? I don't. It used to be, I, I guess the tradition for me was, my, my sister works in the, uh, in the hotel business, so she would always be. She was always able to get Thanksgiving off, and we would do that at my parents' house. And then, and then, since she was stuck working Christmas, I would go visit her for Christmas, just so we can hang out for Christmas. But now that my parents retired and moved to Las Vegas, now it's just it's all. It's, it's, I don't know if it's that traditional anymore. It's Drew Gilbert. Astros, that's going to be for Donald. And Logan Tanner Blue, that'll be for Eric and the Reds. 45 out of Jackson Holiday, Chrome. Holiday. And Elijah Green for Billy. Trey Lipscomb reveals a Roderick Arias Aqua Lava, 20 out of 199. It'll be Mark and the Yankees. Oh, I missed the, uh, scored the Jaguars touchdown. Jaguars up 10-3. I'm on the, on the Jaguars money line. I'm feeling good about it. Oh, it was Trevor with a one-yard run? I had a little, uh, I had a little uh, prop going. Trevor Lawrence rushing or receiving touchdown. Nice. 92 out of 99, we've got Jason Morabell for Texas. That's going to go to Rick T. And Cole Phillips. 32 out of 250, purple chrome autograph for Tim and the Braves. From San Diego. I also have the same prop for Zach Wilson. I can get both. And the Jaguars money line. A nice, uh, nice Thursday for me. Now that the World Cup is over, I can now uh, put my attention back to uh, investing in NFL teams.
Christian Vaccaro, purple paper. 160 out of 250 for the Nationals, Billy. And we got a Walter Ford, our third autograph for the M's. That'll be for Peter in Seattle. All right, another box coming up. A super fractor out of here. I haven't seen a one of one in a minute or two. Peter, what's going on? Oh, we, we got a we got a ways to go, Pete. Hey, good night, hey, good night Michael. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all yeah. that. Have a good, have a good uh, weekend. Thank you. I'll try to find some hitters for you. We've got to look hitterish here. Will there be more draft breaks posted? Uh, yes. And there's a good shot that uh, Pick Your Team 5 is down to six teams left. There's a really good shot that we'll get that done tonight. And as soon as Pick Your Team 6 sells out, we'll post, uh, we'll post another case. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, we'll do. We'll, I'll do a recap. So once this video is posted, you can scroll right to the end, and hopefully we'll we'll find some hitters for you. You got a couple teams, right? You got Dodgers and Twins and Mariners, All right? All right. Good luck. Thanks for getting in. Did I say six? Yes, I meant pick your team five with six teams left, and then we'll post pick your team six. Many numbers. Now Jason Curio to four ninety nine paper for Cleveland. Mark. There's Cooper Jerpy and Brenner Cox, 170 out of 199. B Cox. This Cox going to Billy in the Nationals. Aqua Lava Parallel, really nice.
And the Jerpy, purple chrome to 250 for the Cardinals. Matthew, 215 out of 250. And another Jackson Holiday chrome this time for the O's. We've got Alexis Hernandez, blue paper, 13 out of 150 for the Cubs. Matthew, with the Cubbies. And there's Zach Nito. Is, that's out of five. Yeah, it looked like, looked different. Nice. Air parent insert. It's a neato hit. Going to Nicholas and the Angels. There you go, Nicholas. Happy holidays. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Happy, Happy holidays. Year. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you, sir. Have a great trip. Be safe. Thanks, have man. Fun. Can you leave the gate open, please? They should have some stuff arriving cool. for me Good to job. nom on. Green right there. Billy with the Nationals. And Landon Sims, ninety three out of four ninety nine refractor autograph for the Snakes. D Porter, the Porter House Stake with the snake. He's a cold-hearted snake, look into his eyes. Tamar Johnson for Chad and the Pirates. Johnson. And we got a Hunter Pattison, 50 out of 71 for Kansas City. Mark with the Royals. We'll never be Royals. Fifth rounder, Speckle. All right. Box seven. Of eight, we're getting there. I'm gonna take a little break after this, and we'll come back, we'll go through some orders, and we'll see what people wanna get into. Now there's plenty of stuff we can do tonight, 
There's also an exciting new release date tomorrow. We've got Topps Five Star Baseball is going to be our big new release tomorrow, so I'm sure we'll do a lot of those. Pre-order your teams now before they end up in, uh, I'm assuming it'll end up in a filler at some point uh, after I go off air tonight or maybe, um, maybe tomorrow. Also, looks like that Jaspie's Hit Parade break sold out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add 10 spots back in. We're going to cancel a filler. So that filler you see on the site is going to be the last filler. It's in the football section, which I think should make people happy because it's one less thing, one less hurdle that we have to uh, go through. Last filler, I gave you the brakes, but the very next day you broke it away. All right, so that's definitely something we can run back multiple times tonight if you'd like. go. And we got an Ezekiel Tovar, paper to four ninety nine. Rockies, EA. Pedro Pineda. Got a Jackson Curio blue and a Douglas Hodo the third. Jack has the Orioles, six rounder, and Frank with the Brew Crew, sixty one out of one fifty. It's supposed to be really good, Jackson and his brother, Jason Curio, too. We got Yoenski Noel, Aqua, Lava, 33 out of 
And we got Alex Freeland. 408 out of 499 refractor autograph for uh, for Peter and the Dodgers. There you go, Peter. We've got a hitter here. Shortstop, Alex Freeland. Elijah Green for Billy and the Nationals. Jamar Johnson. Anyone see Avatar? Way, oh, I just saw a commercial for it on the Amazon Prime game here. I have not. I don't know if I have too much interest in it. I don't think I was really into the first Avatar. I'm not entirely sure, or I wasn't entirely sure what the big deal about this Avatar was, but apparently, Technology-wise, they kind of revolutionized how to uh, film stuff underwater. So I guess they figured out like new camera techniques and lighting techniques to to perform action sequences underwater. So apparently, you know, it's really amazing in term visually in terms of in terms of seeing all these water effects. Holiday. There's an autograph coming up. And it's for the White Sox. Jordan Sprinkle. Sprinkles! That's going to go to TJ and the White Sox. There you go, TJ. On the board with the fourth round pick. Sprinkles! And we got Angel Martinez, blue paper, one, two, three out of 150. That's for Cleveland, that's for Mark. All right, final box coming up. It's coming up like a flower. It's coming up. like rain in New York according to the TV broadcast but no snow oh man I think Ad I think our uh, our friend Adam Copperman is in as at this game I wonder where he's sitting a lot of a lot, lot of people in those plastic ponchos out there Ooh. Looks like the winds pushing that rain around it's, it's almost falling at a 45 degree angle That's the one, TJ. Sprinkle! Man, that, what a, what a great commercial. There's Jackson Holiday, a little bit of a dent on the bottom left and on the bottom right. But there was plenty of others. That still goes to Jack, all card ship, last box, last three autos, and then a recap. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for getting in. We got another full case picker team. Uh, that is down to, that's holding at six teams left. I don't think we're going to have a filler for that. So get into that if you want to do another one of these tonight. Tonight.
There's purple paper, Brandon Berea. 156 out of 250 for the Blue Jays. There's the number right there. And that's Adam with the Blue Birds. I'm a blue bird, I'm a blue bird, I'm a blue bird, I'm a blue bird. Tamar Johnson. Johnson. Kevin Prada's out of 250. And DeAndre Smith, 232. Oh, I'm out of penny slips here. DeAndre Smith. 232 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph. And who has the Metropolitan? That's going to be Mark. Mark B. Fifth overall pick from uh, from San Diego. Also, I get this one too, the Kevin Parada draft day insert. George Valera to 150, blue chrome. Mark in Cleveland. There's Sean McClain to 499. Peter and the Dodgers. There's a Jace Young. That's a one out of every 60 packs, a short print insert. And that's going to be for Allen and the Tigers. Nice. Tiger uppercut. It's a good picture of him, too. And a redemption coming up. Any guesses on that redemption for uh, for bragging rights? We've got a Jackson Holiday blue paper, 287 out of 499. Jack with the O's. Holiday. Ah, oh, you can just drop that off right there. Awesome, thank you. Merry
TJ's just gonna, just gonna guess Koloff. No clue if he's a redemption or not, but why not? An Oscar Koloff would be be pretty nice. Oh, I thought I saw a plate. Wow, look at that. Plate auto, Zach Maxwell. Reds. Nice. Eric Christensen with Cincinnati. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And we saw the redemption. The redemption is going to be... Gonna be. I'm gonna put this behind this card right here. It's, ooh, white redemption card. Congratulations, you are due to receive a franchise futures dual autograph. Uh oh. Is this a one one happy person, one sad person scenario, or are they both the same team? Oh, actually, the team should be on here, so we'll find out. Well, of. Looks like same team. That looks like the city name right there. New York Mets or Yankees? New York Mets. Wow. That's Kevin Parada and Jet Williams. Jet. Woo, 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 woo. That's going to go to Mark Bissett and the New York Mets. Happy Christmas. Happy holidays, Mark. Nice dual auto going your way. Great finish, ladies and gentlemen. Plate auto, dual auto. Some Jackson Holiday, Jace Youngs. A lot of color in these autographs. A lot of nice parallels. Mm. Thanks, everybody, for getting into all of the action on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I appreciate it. There's the Jace Young Tigers auto. And that out of five, Zach Nito Air Apparent insert. Nice case, ladies and gentlemen. We got more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. Happy holidays. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.